kneeling has been a big thing with the flag, right, yeah. with the national anthem. Um, we stand. And I think that's a contrast that people maybe miss. Why do we stand at the Pledge of Allegiance? Let me ask you this first, kind of going back. So I know we're doing a little bit of looper here. Um, were the founding fathers, did they ever, or is there a historical precedent where they would kneel for other men, particularly other men ruling over them? They would kneel for God. Right. And they would kneel in church. Other than that, you're not going to find them kneeling. You'll find Washington kneeling in prayer at Valley Forge. And as an Anglican, he usually stood when he prayed. That's like sackcloth and ashes. When an Anglican kneels, that's that's big stuff for Washington to kneel. Uh, but no, we didn't kneel to men, and that was a big deal. They're not going to kneel to King George III. Um, statues came down that, that indicated any kind of subservient. We, we were not servants to anybody. We stood on our own two feet. Right. And so there was not the kneeling. And that's um, interesting symbolism to me because, um, and obviously people will bring up slavery and the injustices, and we've done an entire segment on that. I encourage people to go uh, to go watch it, even the idea of the old uh, party switch. I think we've done a segment on that. But anyone who is at a football game or anyone in any of these protests who says we're kneeling in protest of the flag, I don't think they understand the, the context in that that was a conscious decision, the Founding Fathers, to not kneel before any man but only to God. And when you are standing at the Pledge of Allegiance, that's saying that as Americans, we are not subservient to any other man, the president or King George. And I think yeah. it's an irony that's lost on people. The standing is already a figure to flip the bird to some kind of authoritarian yeah. figure. Um, and kneeling is going back to what we left. Yeah, it is. It's going the wrong direction. You know, it's designed to show some disrespect. But And, and this is a little sidebar off to the side. So many of the guys who actually suffered racial injustice at a level that we'll never know, actually suffered the impression, actually suffered slavery, actually were persecuted and beat because they were just black. Guys like that that fought in the Civil War. Folks don't understand that seven black patriots got the Medal of Honor for not allowing the American flag to be disrespected. Right. They were so loyal to the flag because it was the other flag that they didn't like. It wasn't the American flag. That's the one that brought all the liberty. Mm -hmm. It's the other flag that they had trouble with. And so the, the quotes by black soldiers in the Civil War and their absolute admiration for the flag, that that's what gave them hope and optimism. It's the other flag that was the oppression of slavery, mm -hmm. you know, Confederate flag or whatever you want to say. So these guys, um, to have Medal of Honor winners, uh, if you watch the movie Glory, but if you read the real story, he got shot four times because he would not let the flag touch the ground be disrespected. That was four shots. Right. And, and, and so I don't even think we understand history, even in the racial sense of where the respect for the flag was. The early congressmen, uh, the first the first 13 congressmen, seven of them had been slaves five years before. Right. I mean, what a change to be a slave and five years later you're sitting in congress sure i mean and no one's guys, saying that it's, it's not and no amazing. one's saying that we're a perfect nation and with a perfect history of course because we've 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 uh, talked about that at great length in the past and i encourage people to go watch it but we stood so that uh, we stood and it took us a little while that everybody could stand figuratively here in That's the united right. states we ended slavery right. but we keep in mind if we hadn't stood at all everyone black white red yellow would still would be, be kneeling you. And uh, I, think, I think we're going to leave it on that. Wallbuilders.com. Mr. Barton, thank you so much for taking the time.